Let's learn about how when a monopolist has a tax introduced on them, how do they react? Let's say you have a monopoly um, and a government decides and rules over that monopoly saying, hey, you have a lot of market power. I'm going to introduce a tax for every unit of an item that you sell. I'm going to introduce a tax. So how does that impact the monopolist? Yeah. So we know um, typically in a regular circumstance, the marginal revenue and marginal cost is where the monopoly would try to look at, at the quantity at which they intersect. And they'll set the price based on a uh, much higher price based on that quantity that they get. Yeah. So this is the marginal cost, but they will set the price by this much higher. So they'll get the quantity and they'll get the price. Um, and when they start to see an, an attack getting added, basically their tax will shift the marginal cost curve up. So you see here, I've drawn the new marginal cost uh, with the tax here. So in a sense, this curve shifted up because it's now going to cost them more per unit. And so what happens is the quantity uh, will now reduce. Why is that? Because this new marginal curve will intersect at this uh, marginal cost will intersect at a much higher point uh, at a reduced quantity and the price will also go up. Yeah. So this new intersection point will have a price that is much higher and a quantity that's much lower compared to this old uh, intersection point. So as we saw overall, the quantity reduced, the price went up. The magnitude of how high this price can go up or how high this reduction is in quantity depends on these two curves, yeah, as to how elastic is your marginal revenue and how elastic is your demand curve, yeah? So elasticity of demand greatly impacts your price. So in this case, I have drawn uh, the MR and the demand curve to be highly highly uh, inelastic, so much slope, the, the slope is much higher. And here I've drawn an elastic curve, yeah? So if you see in an inelastic curve, we start to see that uh, the price is change is much higher, and it could be even higher than the tax that's introduced, because the monopolist has the ability to shift the price up. When the price goes up, then the quantity also reduces. In this situation, what we see is uh, overall elasticity is much higher, so the impact on price is much lower compared to the impact on price here, and the quantity is changed uh, appropriately. So you see that quantity and price changes completely depends on how much is the elasticity of demand. Yeah, so that's the key takeaway here, um, because the monopolist would always optimize for the producer surplus that they get. Yeah, remember in in our situation here, our uh, consumer surplus would be in this monopolist situation at this price would be this, and our in our producer surplus would be this amount, yeah? So when they change the price, they're trying to focus here. They're trying to make sure that they reduce quantity and increase price such that they can handle the new tax, but also maximize the area that's under this red area, yeah? Um, this would not, ha this, would, this would be very different than how perfect competition would be. In perfect competition, the firm would be a price taker. So they cannot like introduce this big delta that we have, the price difference that we are charging here, that just doesn't exist. So what happens here, in this case, MR and B and P are the same curves. And so here, uh, there is there is no, you know, the price is basically given. And so when MR and MC intersect, in this case, MR would be same as demand curve, same as for uh, the price, whatever the market price is, the firm has to take it. Um, and in that case, what we see is, the consumer surplus is much larger than what we see in a monopolist in perfect competition. So this is the perfect competition. And so here, the clearing price would be much lower so than a monopolist, and a quantity would be much higher compared to what a monopolist would charge in a perfect competition, and the producer surplus uh, would be much lower, consumer surplus would be much higher. Yeah. So. 
the characteristics of a monopolist would be exactly opposite of that of a perfect competition. The firm has high barriers to entry with fixed uh, number of firms competing because it's super difficult for them to get in and compete. Let's say you want to build a new chip manufacturing plant. It takes a lot of money to build that. Uh, and it takes a lot of expertise and economy to scale. So you just can't do that. Yeah? Uh, they have a lot of protections, legal protections. And uh, other than um, those uh, fixed number of firms competing, because that's also part of the moat, which is a patent protection, a copyright protection, makes them the only producer. So then that's happening. And then there is high differentiation in products. So it's not a commodity product that like petrol, that you know you use one one gas station or the other, it's the same commodity product, but they have products that are highly differentiated, meaning only they produce it and they produce it so well with a lot of patent control that only they can produce it. And thus there is no competitive rivalry as well between these firms. So monopoly exists, but as we can see, it has a lot of dead weight costs associated with it. Because here we saw that hey, this is the consumer surplus, this is the producer surplus, but all of this is dead weight. Meaning the socially, the country is not able to achieve equilibrium here because there is no dead weight cost here. But this dead weight cost is uh, what the country is facing because the consumers are willing to consume more, they're willing to pay higher prices, um, but they are not going to be able to. to uh, they, they want lower prices, but they're not going to be able to afford it. So only these people with these price points can afford it. And so this dead weight cost or the social welfare can get the government to intervene and come up with regulations and that's what happened in one example was uh, US Supreme Court order would break down standard oil into much lower uh, number of substitutes here. So that is the uh, impact of tax on monopolies. Yeah.